In today's episode, say goodbye to the Samsung Gear app and users of the Android 9 operating system rejoice. This and more coming up next. Okay guys, as I mentioned right off the start, your gear app will be disappearing or it may already have changed and you just weren't aware of it yet. Samsung just started rolling out an update to the app so that it would support both the new Galaxy Watch as well as the final build of the Android Pie software. So make sure you check your app as it may have already switched over to the new Galaxy wearable app name. Now as you recall, the gear app allowed users to not only add their smartwatches, but other devices such as the company's fitness trackers and of course the Icon earbuds. However, with the official launch of the Galaxy Note 9 last week and the introduction of two new devices which also share the Galaxy name, it was only a matter of time until we'd see the name change also reflected in the app. And if you notice, the Icon is also different than the previous gear branding and this is all part of Samsung's vision to bring its entire portfolio of devices under one name, both for consistency and to streamline its marketing and branding initiatives. So besides the name and the icon changes, you may be asking, is there anything of substance to the actual app itself? Well, in addition to supporting all the original gear devices and accessories, the new app will support the Galaxy Watch and most likely the Galaxy Home Speaker when it's released later this year. And interestingly enough, I noticed that when I opened the Galaxy Wearable app, it still refers to the gear app in the about section at the bottom, although I'm sure this was just a minor oversight and that's gonna be updated to reflect the new name shortly. Now, in addition to supporting new Galaxy devices, this update also brings with it support for Android Pie. For the last few days, users were experiencing issues with pairing wearable devices with the latest Android 9 release, but since this new update's been rolled out, it appears that issue has been resolved, at least for the most part. But if you do have a non-Samsung Android phone, I would be interested in knowing if you experience any issues pairing your Samsung devices since the last Android update. Okay guys, that's all the info I have for now. Again, I just want to make sure you're aware of this change to the app as well as the fix for pairing Samsung devices to the newest Android software update. As usual, I'll keep you guys posted on the latest updates and I'll see you in the next episode. Okay, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching and I would really appreciate it if you could share this video and to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me keep the channel going so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways, and fresh content. And if you want to be notified when the newest video is just released, then just click on that bell icon next to the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.